What's going on guys? So you are in for a cool video. At least 0.031% of you have been asking for this video and I think it's gonna be pretty cool. So in front of you, we have our 2023 GMC Sierra Denali 1500 four wheel drive half ton pickup truck. This is a crew cab with the shortest possible bed. It's a five and three quarter foot long bed. This is a very common configuration for half ton pickup trucks. And behind it, we have the 2017 F450. And uh, I love that truck. I've had that truck for, for several years now. It's been a great truck, but you can obviously tell there's a difference in terms of trucks. Now, that is a crew cab configuration with an eight foot bed. And of course it's a dually, so it's extra wide. It also has the wide track front axle and dually tires on the back. So that truck is significantly larger than this truck, even though from this camera angle, you may not be able to tell that. Anyways, in this video, we are gonna take both of these trucks and we're gonna take them around a half circle. And then we're gonna measure to see specifically which one has the better turning radius. That's pretty cool because a lot of people get half ton trucks because they're more maneuverable, because you can get them into tighter parking spots, because you can get them where you need them and oftentimes dualies are viewed as these trucks that you can't do that with. But the F450 is a very special truck because of that front wide track front axle, the ability for it to turn significantly sharper than a typical truck. So let's get this thing kicked off. Hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, so it is just about golden hour and look at the colors here. I mean, wow. This truck is just absolutely beautiful. I love the ruby red. You know, it's gonna be so hard to trade this truck in for the 2023 F450. And part of me is like, just keep the thing. Just, you know, don't trade it in. You don't need the new truck. Just keep this thing because it's just an awesome truck. It really is. This thing is drop dead gorgeous. And this is a beautiful truck too but it's a significantly smaller truck. And from this angle, I think you can definitely tell the differences. Now, in terms of bed height, in terms of width, they're pretty much the same, except for the dually back here. And then my truck sits up probably just a hair higher in the back. But from the cab perspective, the cab actually sits up a bit higher. But that's not what we're measuring today. What I'm gonna do is both trucks are gonna start in the same spot right here. I'm gonna execute a hard left turn, as hard as I can turn the truck, and I'm gonna do a U-turn around my tree right here. I'm gonna pull this truck forward a little bit, then I'm gonna do the same thing with the F450 and park behind it. And then we're gonna take measurements to see what the difference is. What do you think the difference is gonna be and who do you think is gonna win with the tightest turning radius? The 2023 GMC Sierra Denali 1500 four-wheel drive or the 2017 F450. And by the way, if you're comparing this to a 2019, 2021, 2023, it's gonna be the same frame, same suspension. So there's really no difference there. And yeah, this is, uh, this is gonna be a pretty interesting comparison. We're gonna go ahead and hop in the Denali. We're gonna execute that left-hand turn and then we'll pull it up a little bit and then we'll pull behind it with the F450 and see, uh, see what the differences are. Okay, so we've hopped in the GMC. Got our cool little camera mirror on back here so you can see that the F450 is directly behind us. Let's go ahead and put this truck in a drive. I'm gonna put the steering wheel hard over. All right, it won't go any further and we're gonna start turning. stop and straighten out and I'm going to pull straight forward I'm going to pull forward quite a bit though because I need room for the F450 to fit behind okay we're in park let's hop in the 450 okay so now we're going to pull forward again It's a little bumpy out here. That's why the steering wheel moves a little bit. I'm gonna get to about the same spot. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it all the way to the left. Won't go anymore. Let's start turning. What do you guys think? Who's gonna win this? Straighten out. Okay. 
Okay, so my dually tires, you can actually see the path that both vehicles took in case you want to kind of confirm what took place here. Wrapped around the tree right here. I can tell you right off the bat, the 450 felt like it was turning sharper. Came this way. All right, so the results, I really don't even need a tape measure for this. It looks to be about a three, maybe three and a half foot difference. Check that out. So the front tire lines up, let's just say with the A and the L in Denali, right around there. The F450 outturns a half ton crew cab short bed pickup truck. That's insane. And it's all because of that wide track front axle right there. I mean, I know this wasn't like super scientific and I don't have any reason to claim one's better than the other because I own both trucks. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. And you instantly realize the maneuvering difference when you start to back one truck up or when you try to maneuver the truck and you try to go around something. Now, this one still kind of wins, believe it or not, because the shorter overall footprint and wheelbase of the truck, as well as the lack of dually fenders, makes it a little bit easier to maneuver into parking spots because you have a little bit more room front and back. You're not going to be as tightly squeezed in from the front and the back, which is generally the most challenging part of backing in a big truck. With my truck, it still has significant width. It, it is much, much wider. The front is much wider. The back is much wider because of this wide track front end and it's significantly longer. Let me park the truck side by side so you can just tell the difference in terms of overall length and width. Okay, so the trucks are just about perfectly lined up. I'm gonna say that the bumper on my truck sticks out maybe, maybe two to three inches further than the bumper on the Denali. And then let's kind of walk our way back here so you can see how the backs look. All right, so this is probably the easiest way to do this. Right about here is where the back of the tailgate is on the Denali. And if I pan down, that is right about, not over the axle, but probably about three inches behind the axle of the F450. So significant, significant length difference. Now in terms of overall height, you kind of have the, the same thing going on. Now we are not parked on perfectly level ground, but if I stand back here, you can kind of see the difference from the cab. The cab of the 450 probably sits about three inches higher. The bed height is probably, probably two inches higher. So again, none of this is scientific. I'm just kind of showing you this off the cuff. But you get an idea of the size difference of the truck. And again, you look straight down the side of this truck, perfectly smooth, nothing really bulging out. You look down the side of an F450, yeah, you have both the front fender sticking out as well as the rear fender sticking out for a very, very wide platform. So yeah, that is really the, uh, the overall difference in size of the truck. And like I said, that extra, shoot, probably three and a half feet that this doesn't have sticking off the back really gives this maneuverability that you just can't have with a truck like this. So even with the improved turning angle that you get with the wide track front axle on this truck, it's still not going to be quite as maneuverable because you're going to get to things quicker, if that makes sense. If I'm backing into a parking spot, if I'm pulling in, because the truck is so much longer, I'm going to pull up to something much quicker because I'm not going to have the space that this truck may have front to back, if that makes sense. Anyways, guys, uh, pretty cool video, I think. You know, I think it was kind of eye-opening. I'm sure a lot of people thought that the Denali was going to have a superior turning angle to the, uh, the F450. But once again, the F450 is just kind of this big, awe-inspiring, super cool, wish every truck had a really cool turning radius type of vehicle. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.